Hello, my name is Dr. Vaibhav Chaudhary. I am a consultant medical oncologist in Kokila Bhain Dhirubhai Ambani Hospital, Mumbai. I'll be speaking on the topic of colorectal cancer. What is colorectal cancer? Colorectal cancer refers to any abnormal growth in colon or in the rectum. Colon and rectum cancers are usually grouped together because of their common features. But before we dive deep into the colorectal cancer, we should first understand a little more about colon and rectum. Colon and rectum are the distal end of alimentary canal. The large intestine is a hollow tube-like structure. It ends into an anal opening and opens in uh, and whatever and it helps in the excretion of digestive waste from the body. The primary function of colon is to absorb water and nutrients after which the waste product of digestion are passed to the rectum for storage and eventual excretion. So how do colorectal cancers occur? Colorectal cancers occur when some cells lining the colon or the rectum starts growing and dividing uncontrollably resulting in a mass of tissue which is named as polyp. Not all polyps are cancerous but the cells that are may continue to grow. The cancerous cells in the polyp may invade other tissues such as uh, blood vessels and lymph nodes and may metastasize to other organs like lungs and liver as well. It usually takes years from polyps to the colorectal stage. So what are the risk factors for colorectal cancer? Several factors, non-modifiable and modifiable can increase the risk of colorectal cancers. These include age, more than 50 years, a personal history of polyps or colorectal cancer, a first degree relatives of polyps or colorectal cancer, History of conditions like inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, type 2 diabetes, etc. Inherited syndromes like Lynch syndrome or familial adenomatosis polyposis syndrome and obesity, which has a stronger link in men as compared to female. In 2020, about 1.9 million new cases of colorectal cancers were reported and 0.9 million deaths were attributed to this disease. This incidence and death rather can be reduced with early diagnosis and appropriate treatment because remember cancer is curable if detected early and many factors are responsible for high incidence of mortality which includes actually lack of awareness among the patient about its symptoms overlapping symptoms with other gastrointestinal conditions which are often ignored by the primary physicians as well misinterpretation of this symptom can lead to delayed diagnosis and colorectal cancers and increased mortality and morbidity because of this so what are the signs and symptoms of colorectal cancers to help in early diagnosis we all should know the signs and symptoms of colorectal cancer the early symptoms include ulcers and uh, colitis inflammation of the colon the characteristic uh, symptoms are blood in stools, incomplete bowel evacuation, altered bowel habits, which is either too much of loose motions or too much of constipation or alternative constipation with loose stools, abdominal pain or cramps, feeling of bloatingness or fullness, frequent flatulence planes and tiredness. If these symptoms persist for more than two weeks, it is important to visit a physician, diagnosis of colorectal cancer at an early stage can increase the survival by about 90%. Prevention of colorectal cancer. Although there are no definite ways to prevent colorectal cancer or for that matter any cancer, but some measures can be taken which are the modifiable risk factors to reduce its risk. One of the most important is screening. The polyps in the colon or rectum usually take 10 to 15 years to develop into cancer. So regular screening for colorectal cancer can help early detection of the polyps. Individuals aged 45 years and above or those with a strong family history are at a higher risk and must undergo regular screening for colorectal cancer. In both men and women, obesity can increase the risk of colorectal cancer. Therefore, maintaining a body weight which is healthy, engaging in regular physical exercise and eating a healthy diet uh, which is rich in fiber and can reduce colorectal cancer. Apart from this, avoiding alcohol consumption and smoking can also reduce colorectal cancer. Let us stand together and fight colorectal cancer by spreading awareness about symptoms, regular screening and its diagnosis. Thank you.